Hi Hoppers Bazaar, I'm Thames and today I'm looking through some of my favorite fashion moments. This is fashion flashback. Okay, so this look is from my Jimmy Kimmel live performance in 2021. The designer is Valerie Kowalska. I just remember most of the emotions that we're going through. First performance, you know, trying to bear it all almost but not really just slightly it's very sheer it's very open i love diamonds i'm wearing this diamond earring from a lovely vintage store that we found i like classy looking things this day was very funny because it was my first time on any tonight show in america my stylist and everyone around was fixing things on my dress but i didn't think there was anything to fix and i was slightly just on edge. <laughs> I love this look. This was the Mobos 2021 Awards. This is a custom Tara Haken. What drew me to this look was the color, the print on it. I love the sleeves. It's like dangerous, but then it's still kind of classy. It's my first time performing at an award show in London. This was like so much fun. Everybody was dancing. This was like a lit night. <laughs> <laughs> this look was the BET Awards 2022 and this was Delara. This is the highest lit I ever wore but this was just like very daring. It's a corset, it's supposed to be like really like provoke almost but still classy. That's why there's diamonds um, even though there's like mesh and it looks a bit crazy but it's still you know. We did the hair, it was a 90s inspired look. <laughs> this night, there was a funny video. I thought maybe Wiz was there too. And they had announced the award and that we won for Essence. When they called it, I didn't stand up. <laughs> <laughs> and the camera was on me. I saw two guys coming and they were staying in front of me. And I was like wondering, why are you here? And they called it and everybody was like looking at me and I was just looking at them and I was just sitting down looking like, okay, I don't know what's, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Like five seconds of awkwardness, me and everybody else in the room, my face blown up and I was just kind of like, <laughs> really? <laughs> so it was a fun night. Ooh. This is the Grammys 2023, and this is custom Vivienne Westwood. This whole look was a surprise. When I saw it, I was like, wow, this is actually amazing. Anything that brings out my curves, I love. I don't usually wear pearls, but this was like the first time I did a pearl thing and I stuck some in my hair and I did like a two piece thing. I had to just add some craziness. I felt like a princess in this dress. It was really a moment for sure. This dress. This is Leva Coteau, the famous dress. <laughs> it was a huge deal. It's my first Oscars. When I first saw this dress that this was what was happening, I was like, oh, this is quite much, you know? This is quite a lot for me. The way it flows, it looks like a cloud. It looks like a flowing stream. It looks like otherworldly. It was big, it was, but then it's a high slit. I felt like a real life princess. Like everybody was just like turning and people were taking pictures with me, even, <laughs> even though they didn't know me. Like prestigious, like old <laughs> white men. <laughs> I was like, they don't know me, but they just thought I look cute. We were supposed to change from this look inside, uh, but we didn't get the time to, and they scooped my stylist away. So I was literally stuck with this, and then it became the whole viral moment with the girl and, and the blocking. But there was no blocking. Just, I need to put that out there. The person behind me, he loved what I was wearing and he could see because the stage was up. So nobody looked straight. When I meet anyone in fashion, they always tell me about that look. Like, oh yeah, you're the girl. You're the one that caused all that trouble that day. This one was the Vanity Fair Oscars party. I'm in Mono. This was actually one of my faves. It just sits well on my body. It has the wrap around my hips, which falls down. And this necklace is 
Yves Saint Laurent by Tom Ford. It's very simple, very classy, but it has a bit of edge. It's like, is this a superhero's necklace? Like, what is going on? My glam. Well, I love, love, love a good highlighter. I just kind of kept it simple, nice gloss, brows on 100, lashes going crazy, lips always glossy. You have to spice things up, you really do. This was the Met Gala 2023 and this dress was Robert One. The theme was Karl Lagerfeld, A Line of Beauty. This was actually referencing an old Chanel look where Karl did a lot with like feathers and he did a lot with headpieces and he also did a lot of black and white. The skirt part is a corset but the skirt part is actually supposed to look like a shirt. So that's the collar on the front and the two things at the side are supposed to represent the arms. It was slightly difficult to move in, to be honest. The corset was very tight. Like they snatched me. Like they pulled me, I, I, I almost couldn't breathe. The shoe is is also kind of like just adding to that, that pointy heel. This is actually a bag. When I walked on the carpet, people thought that maybe I broke my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny is when I was waiting in line to go next, before I went next, before they called me, the lady, she looked down and she was like, oh, Thames. And then she looked at me, she was like, you like head pieces, don't you? <laughs> I was like, wow, giving me some spice. <laughs> I was like, yes, you're right. <laughs> I do love head pieces. This is Time 100 Next 2023. I'm in Daniel Frankel. This one is one of my favorite looks ever. It's a bridal piece. I thought it was just very beautiful. I thought more like, actually, yes, I am showing you that I'm a young bride. So the bag is so cute. It looks like a pearl almost, but it's in a glass box and i just thought that that was very significant to the vibe that i was going for this is who i am actually everything you wear should be a reflection of who you are and i think this really reflects me inside i'm promised you know <laughs> <laughs> i am also a princess you know in real life so i just thought it was it's very fitting this dress holy smokes <laughs> this is the Billboard Women in Music 2024. I'm in a liar. This was a very memorable night. I felt like a black swan that night, and which is why I did my hair like that. I love Bantu knots, which is very African. It's very Nigerian hairstyle. We decided to add the fur sleeves to match with the bottom, which I think was a really good choice. You know, it's giving something extra and it's fitting, it's just right. I didn't hear it at the time, but there's a video from this night where I turned a pose. The photographer, he was like, holy smokes. Right here. Holy smoke. And everybody was laughing. And I, at the time I didn't know why. I was like, oh, okay, I'm just gonna do my thing. <laughs> I just thought it was so funny, like, wow. I must have done something right. This was my first Coachella, Coachella 2024, and I'm wearing John. This is one of my fave looks this year, for sure. It has frills all over the bust and on the neck, and it's crossing over. And then it, when you go down the dress, it has shiny flowers. They're like almost sequins. I really love this hair. I feel like it went perfectly with um, the outfit. Every time I moved, it moved. When I move, you move, just like that. So <laughs> I didn't plan for anyone to come specifically on my set. Wiz Kid, he was around and you know, we asked if he could come out and he was like, oh yeah, sure. And then I got a message from Justin and he was like, oh, you know, I'm around. If you wanted me to come out to Coachella, I I'm down, you know? And I was like, what? The stars are aligned, like what is going on? Crowd went crazy, literally the floor was shaking and we had a good time. I couldn't have asked for a better set that day. 
It was incredible. Thanks for going through some of my favorite fashion moments. Born in the Wild is out. Go check it.